Two South Asian nuclear powers locking horns once again in a 70-year-old conflict. India has revoked the special status of the autonomous region of Kashmir. Kashmiris now fear that it could lead to a transformation from majority Muslim to majority Hindu. Previously, the region was exempt from the Indian constitution and non-Kashmir residents were banned from buying property there. But it's changed now and the moves really stoked tensions in what was already a hugely volatile area. As for Pakistan, which also has claims on Kashmir, there have been protests over the decision, with the country's foreign ministry calling the move illegal and a violation of a UN resolution. Authorities have put the region on lockdown, blocking internet connection and landline phones. It is a reminder of the conflict's roots that stretch way back. We got the views of people on both sides of the barricade for you. This development is very worrying. A development worrying in the sense that it is, it is going to cause more unrest once the curfew is lifted. But more importantly, I think the situation at Pakistan's border uh, near Kashmir is already tense. India has been using banned cluster bombs uh, to target civilian population on Pakistan's side of the border. There is a military buildup on both sides of the border. And I think there is also a very important point. India uh, is simply forgetting 22 UN Security Council resolutions. India or Pakistan cannot make any legislation on Kashmir which change its disputed status. So today what India has done, it has changed the status of Kashmir from being disputed to uh, being part of India, which is against the international law, which is against the UN Security Council resolution. Well, at the moment, there's a lot of jubilation. I mean, how does it matter uh, if, if a part of a state has Hindus or Muslims or Christians or Buddhists or whatever? I mean, that's, that's, an, in, in, that's an internal Indian thing. We are a country where we have a very large Muslim population. The Article 370, which was, it was like a lease given, it was a temporary piece of paper which has been temporary for over 70 years. It doesn't exist anymore. This has to do with the, with Kashmir in, in the Jammu and Kashmir, which are an, an integral part of India.